Hey, all right, so today is my 52nd birthday. And um, normally on my birthday, I wake up excited because I feel like I've just been handed a clean slate and the opportunity to create a brand new year. And um, I spend the day reflecting on the last couple of years and I spend um, the day brainstorming about what I want to create this year. And this year is not a normal year. I did not wake up feeling excited. I woke up feeling lost. Because as I thought back over the last few years, it's been an incredible adventure, but I've experienced a tremendous amount of change in my professional and personal life that has just knocked me on my knees. From losing my daytime talk show to having my book contract rescinded to having the speaking business basically implode until at least another year from now, um, to not being able to be with you face-to-face, -to, -face, to not being able to work with my team face-to-face. -face. I just got rocked. And then on top of it, our son wanted to go to high school in Vermont, and so we are in the process of moving from the home that we've been in for over 20 years and raised our kids up to a very small town in Southern Vermont where I know very few people and I feel very disconnected. And the result of all this is I feel stuck in between two lives. Uh, my old life, which has ended, and a new life that I have yet to create for myself. And when I look ahead to the future, I feel overwhelmed. I feel lost, I feel disconnected. I, in some ways I feel like I don't even know who I am because <laughs> I feel so disconnected from the things that make me feel alive and happy. And um, so what am I gonna do about it? Um, part of me honestly just wants to sit here and cry all day and feel sorry for myself, but that's not gonna make me feel better. Um, here are the steps I'm gonna take. Number one, self-awareness is critical. So recognizing that you feel lost or disconnected or suspended between your old life and your new life, overwhelmed, whatever you feel, it's so important to name it. Because when you name it, you bring it out of the feeling in your body and out into the world, and then you can do things to tame that feeling. Number two, the most important thing that you should do is move your body because all this negative emotion is trapped in your body right now. And it's only through exercise and motion that you'll move it out of your body and you'll change your emotional state. So I am going to go put on an exercise tape and work up a sweat. Will that solve all my problems? No, but it will put me in a better emotional state so that I can think more clearly and more optimistically and start to see solutions. Number three, the best advice about happiness is happy people do things that make them happy. And so after you move your body and you change your emotional state, do one thing that makes you happy. And for me, I'm gonna go out and buy myself some beautiful flowers. I've been doing a lot of writing this morning, just dumping all my thoughts onto paper and I think journaling out your thoughts is a really important thing to do when you feel stuck or overwhelmed or suspended and then finally continue to remind yourself that this is temporary this is temporary this moment is temporary these feelings are temporary this feeling of stuckness and overwhelm is temporary oh Ooh. oh 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 those sneezes are temporary and I think the biggest thing about that mantra that this is temporary is so is your life. And maybe that's why birthdays are overwhelming because they always make you think about the timeline of your life. And so after you become self-aware and you move your body, which moves your emotions and you do something simple that makes you happy and you dump all your thoughts on a piece of paper, remind yourself that this is temporary and force yourself to start dreaming again. Because when you give up on your dreams, you give up on yourself. And I think that's one of the reasons why I woke up feeling lost today. 
when I look ahead, I don't see anything I'm looking forward to because I haven't created something new to look forward to. And that's the secret. How you're feeling right now is a function of what you see in the future. And if you see overwhelm and a blank page and nothingness, that's how you're gonna feel right now. And so I want you to dream big. I want you to put something on that paper that's out in that future that calls to you, that gives you something to look forward to, to go for. That's how you will pull yourself out of it. And that's how I'm gonna pull myself out of this too. So that's my birthday message. Not really inspiring. It's authentic and it's real because this is where I am right now. And I also know that despite how low I feel, I have a choice. I have a choice about what I do about it. I have a choice about who I'm gonna be in the face of it. And I have a choice about what comes next. So by God, I'm going to five, four, three, two, one, push myself to create a future that really empowers me. And I want you to do the same too. If you could do anything for me for my birthday, it would be for you to dream really big today. That would mean everything to me. I love you. Hey, it's Mel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like this video, I have a suspicion you're going to like these two next.